Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first two weeks in April, so April 1st through the 15th, okay? So let's just see what comes up. Now keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Pisces? If you'd like to purchase this deck, you will find the description in the, well, you'll find the link in the description box below. Um, yeah, so what do we have for a message for Pisces for the first two weeks of April? <laughs> Well, I guess this message is going to be for you. <laughs> okay. Um, you are going to be right in your own element by the looks of things. It's going to be all about you this week or these two weeks. Okay. So you're here. You're up front and center by the looks of things. Bad timing. So we got some bad timing here. You may be dealing with some problems. You may be, you know, fighting the current. Cancer. You could be dealing with a cancer. You may have cancer in your chart. It's definitely going to be an emotional time. Okay, it is. It's going to be an emotional time. You're going to need to master your emotions. I think you're going to be dealing with some challenges. I just got to be honest with you. Emotional challenges. Ooh, well... You should focus it like yesterday. I'm buying a new camera next week. Hurricane season ahead. So get prepared. Okay, storm's coming. And uh, it's going to be a flood. A flood of emotion. There's going to be a flood of emotion. Something is coming. Okay, and it looks like it's going to be emotional. Think about hurricanes, they bring a lot of rain, they bring a lot of water. So, and you know, water represents emotions. I know that it is going to be emotional, whatever this is. It's a warning, that's a warning sign. Deep spiritual connection has to do with a partnership. There may somebody may have gotten themselves into a partnership at the wrong time. It may have been bad timing. The feelings are mutual. So you've got some mutual feelings with another person. We definitely have a deep spiritual connection here between you and another person. Spiritual awakening. Somebody is going through a spiritual awakening. And it's gonna cause turbulence. It's gonna be bring emotions. So somebody is going to be, and then this hurricane could be coming from inside. On the bottom, you know, I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is dealing with an X, but we have an X here. We have an X. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is involved with their X or something like that, but uh, there is going to be some sort of... Well, what is a hurricane? A hurricane is a storm, right? It's a storm. It's a bad storm. Okay, it's a, it's a bad, it's not just like any storm. It's a bad storm. Okay, a hurricane comes in and uh, causes chaos. So I do believe that something is happening, could be happening on the inside. You are about to go through some sort of spiritual awakening. I think that you are also dealing with somebody that is going through a spiritual awakening. I feel like um, things are going to be washed out. Thing, something's going to be washed out of your life. Okay. Um, I feel as though 
you do have a new a new beginning here or you have a deep spiritual connection with somebody maybe it's somebody that you know you may you may have uh, got into something with at the wrong time because of this bad timing and maybe it's coming back around at this time maybe now now you know it's the right time you know that's what it looks like to me. Now it's the right time. I think that it wasn't the right time when you got together with this person, but now perhaps it is the right time because their feelings are mutual, okay? Their feelings are mutual. So, But I do feel like there's something that is being washed out of your life because that's what a hurricane does. So there's something that is being washed out of your life. It's going to be very emotional. You're going. It's going to be an emotional time because I feel like you're deepening a bond with somebody. I think it's somebody that you already know. Maybe it's somebody from your past, you know, when you were younger. Um, I do think whoever is going out of your life, you know, is maybe they're connecting with their ex. There is an ex here. There's an ex here. Whether it's your ex or their ex, I, I tend to feel like it's their ex. Oh, I don't know. Let's get one more card. You do have a connection with somebody, and it's a deep one. It is a deep one. They feel the exact same way about you as you feel about them. It's like... These are fish, but it's like two peas in a pod. That's what I heard. You're, it's like you definitely have a deep connection here with somebody. Ooh, it's reversed. Fantasy land. This is a real connection. It's not fantasy. It's real. Somebody may have been in fantasy land. They may have been in illusion. This is coming out of illusion spiritual awakening maybe maybe it's your ex or it's somebody's ex okay that is because that ex card was here has become aware they have become aware they've woken up somebody has woken up and they're feeling a, a lot of emotions on the inside it's ex it's like a flood of emotion okay somebody is really in their emotions feeling distraught they've gone through some sort of spiritual awakening they have been in illusion now they're waking up they're seeing it clearly and really feeling it really 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 feeling it Deep spiritual connection, soulmate connection. You have a soulmate connection here, Pisces. Get prepared for an arrival. There's going to be an arrival of some sort. You may have been waiting. Somebody's been waiting. The ship is about to arrive. Okay? Something is coming. Something that you have been waiting for. It's time to focus on the future. King of Cups. Follow your heart. Open your heart. Express your feelings. You are good effort. Look at the water. There's a lot of there's a lot of water energy here. You're gonna be in your feelings for sure. For sure. There could also be a departure. Okay. Somebody may be reuniting with their ex, and it could be your partner. I don't know if that's the case. You could be reuniting with your ex, but I feel like there's definitely an ex here that there's, there's a deep connection with, whether it's theirs or yours. I think that it is going to be extremely emotional. There is going to be a flood of emotion, okay? Somebody is uh, turning their back on something, definitely. They're turning their back. They're focusing on the future. They may be traveling, traveling to a new destination. We have somebody here that where their heart is really involved.
breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. That's why this hurricane is happening. This is, this is breaking free from something that you are tied to. But I think this is the person that you are dealing with. The person that you, because this is in their position. Somebody that you are dealing with is breaking free. They are severing ties. Ties are being severed. It is, it's being severed because maybe their heart is telling them that this is not practical. It's not real. It's just fantasy. It's illusion. Somebody is breaking free from something. They're taking back control. They're taking back power. They're, they're moving away. Somebody's moving away. They're going someplace. And it's going to leave you free. It is. It's going to break you free from them. You are severing ties with somebody. And there, I feel like there's a reconnection here. It could be them, though. I feel like it's them. I feel like they're re... But, you know, whatever. What goes around comes around. You know, there's definitely a change here. You may not see this coming, but you've kind of been waiting for it. You know, you've been waiting for this moment. Maybe you've been waiting for them to leave or something like that. They're leaving. They are leaving. It's interesting. The feelings are mutual. You know, you. I, I think that there's a change that is coming. You've been going against the current with somebody. And I think that this illusion is coming to an end. This fantasy, whatever it was, is coming to an end. I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with another water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but whatever it is, this is breaking free from something that is unhealthy with that devil card. I think that there's been suffering. You, not, you must free yourself or they're going to free themselves. This is breaking free or things getting worse. So I do think that there is a storm brewing with for somebody that you're dealing with. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, I think this person is... Uh, going through some sort of spiritual awakening and they do not want to be tied to this situation anymore. They don't want to be. So I think that they're breaking free. This is somebody that has cancer in their chart in a big way. It's either somebody that is cancer rising, cancer moon, cancer... Um, I think it's Cancer Rising or Cancer Moon. It could be Cancer um, Venus as well. I was going to say Cancer, even Jupiter. So I do feel like uh, this person is making a heartfelt decision based on their needs to break free. It feels like it's something to do with their heart, too, their feelings. They're doing it be with good intentions. Somebody is following their heart down another path. They are. And I feel like I feel like it's going to affect you in a very, very emotional way. You're going to be broken free from this person. I think they're making the decision to do so. I think that you've been expecting it. I think you've been waiting for it, but not knowing when it was going to happen. I think there could be a change in the home a change in the home front, change in the residence, you know, with somebody that lives with you or something like that. Freedom. We have freedom here. I knew it. Five of Cups. This is a loss. This is a loss. Grieving. Five of Cups. That's grieving over a loss. That's mourning. Crying. 
emotional. I do believe that, that there is going to be some sort of a loss this in the next couple of weeks. I think that, or somebody's been focusing on a loss, there's still an opportunity, or there's an opportunity for love right here that has been missed. There's grieving, there's what if, what if I would have done this, what if I would have done that. Somebody has some regrets. And now they see, now they see, and I feel like they're, they're going in the direction that they neglected. I feel like there's going to be a reunion, whether it's, I don't know who this reunion is with, okay? It could be with with their ex. You know, that this is a reunion, an upcoming celebration of some sort. There's going to be some sort of reunion in the near future. Um, maybe it's between you and, I don't know, who. anyhow, but I do think it has to do with, I feel, I, my gut tells me it's whoever you're with and their ex. Good luck.